Hello guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench. Thanks for tuning in and another couple of reviews for you today. And these, these are a couple of reviews of another couple of kits I've got made in Ukraine. And as you know, I did a video all about supporting the Ukraine model industry. Buy some kits in and that's exactly what I've done. Anyway, so, so um, so I got these two from Model Hobbies um, in, in the UK. Um, would I recommend them? I don't know. I had a bit of an issue with the order. There is a place on the order where you can go and say, you know, write a message about this order. Write a message about this order. It was completely ignored. So um, will I use them again? I don't know. They do have quite a big range of stuff. But, uh, you know, for, 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 your kit, for your Ukraine kits, really the best place to go is Dave Coley's Emporium. So anyway, these two kits, both are tankers. Now, this one is saying it's an air tanker. So I don't know if there if that's a translation of it's a fuel tanker made for airfields or if it's actually a compressed air tanker. I don't know. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. This one here I know is a fuel tanker because it says here fuel bowser. This one is 70 second scale. This believe it or not is 1 144th scale. This one's ICM, this one's armory. And as I say, both made in Ukraine. Let's have a look at the 70 second scale one first. So it's a very, I haven't had a look at these kits, but I haven't opened the bags or anything. So we can see on the box going around, um, it's, it's uh, 98 millimetres long, 37 millimetres high, 97 parts, uh, and you need cement and paint to finish. And then on the side of the box here, we can see the sort of scheme you can do. More on that later. Um, so it's the same for children 14 and over, or for adults 14 and over. So that's that at the front of the box. And that's typical with ICM, fantastic packaging. Nice rigid cardboard box, sprues all hardly tight up in one bag, and then we have the instructions here. And inside the instructions will be the decals. So we get the decal sheet out. And as I said, more on that later, you can see in here on the instructions we too have two options. We have a standard painting scheme of a fuel bowser, and that's going to be Russian. And then this one here is painting scheme of GDR Army, which I can only assume is German. Um, so you can see on here we have a decal sheet with much more than just the standard Russian or the German. We've actually got Ukrainian and all sorts on here. So I will obviously build this as a Ukrainian aircraft to park alongside some else, something else Ukrainian. Um, so there we go. So that's the decal sheet. And as you can see, lots and lots on there. Very, very nice. It's ICM's own. Um, not sure what ICM decals are like. I'm sure they're absolutely fine. And uh, what we have got here, you can see number five there. We have the Ukrainian emblems. Is it focused or not? There we go. So we've got the Ukrainian emblems there. And um, different bits and pieces so we can actually make it into a Ukrainian fuel truck. So on the front here, basically sprue call out. Assume you in a bit. Actually, there we go. So you can see on the front here, usual sort of sprue call out with all the parts numbered, and then we've got the legend down here, and they're telling us what the kit is across the top. Obviously, these marked pink parts are not used. So going into the instructions, very very simple, just one A4 sheet. This is one of the older ICM kits, so you will see when we look at the sprues, we don't have the sort of quality that the modern ICM kits have. It's still okay. Um, because there's really pretty much nothing else available. There's the trumpeter one, which isn't very nice at all. Um, so building up the chassis, putting in the engine, transfer box, air tanks, rear axles, front axles, so it's a six by six, six wheel drive. Wheels and tires going together there, adding the exhaust system, adding a little tow hook on the back. And then we've got the cab with the interior, steering wheel, we've got pedals and everything in there. A fire extinguisher going on the side. All the windows going in from the outside, which is a nice touch, which means we can paint it and then put our windows in after, not worrying about masking. Um, headlamp grills going over there. I'm not sure what they're going to be, but they might be quite chunky. Um, and then we're adding the cab. We've got some razors here, um, rear mud guards. Then we have the actual uh, fuel tank itself, the truck's own fuel tank, and then the bumper and the cab going on there. So as you can see, fairly, fairly simple. It's not going to be a massive long build. But it is just, uh, you know, it's what it is. And as we looked at earlier on the back here, we've got our um, colour call-outs. 
so it's A, so it's saying field green, Model Master 1712, that's all we've got, nothing else. Um, and then we've got the other colours down there. So all in all, it's all there. Um, looking at the parts, all just in one bag. So we can open the parts, get the sprues out. So nothing broken off, nothing loose. You've got a clear parts, thoughtfully, mass, uh, carefully bagged up separately. I won't get them out, but you can see they look quite nice in there. How they fit, I don't know. But So that's the, one of the biggest problems with the trumpeter kit. The clear parts are bloody awful. They're thick, they've got sink marks in them, and they don't fit. So other than that, they're perfect. So here we can see the first sprue. Um, we've got our chassis, engine, uh, spare wheel, which we don't use. I remember seeing the instructions. We've got our um, uh, mirrors there with the finest, some of the finest bits of mould I've ever seen. Um, God knows how they achieve that. And then we've got the bumper here with some flash on it. We've got the springs, axles, winch, prop shaft. You can see it's all, it's all very fine. A little bit of flash in this corner, but other than that, there's nothing too much there. But again, it's that lovely ICM plastic. So uh, you can see there, all nicely done. Obviously, nothing to write home about and go crazy about, but it's a 70-second scale truck at the end of the day. Two of the wheel tire wheel sprues. So we've got wheels and tires. So we've got wheels there with the automatic inflation system on them. And then we've got our tires there in halves, ready for you to glue together. And they do actually have the correct left and right tread pattern. So that's nice. And then we've got another sprue here. Uh, this is going to be fuel tanks. This is the lines and stuff, which I remember we see we don't use. There's those headlamp grills. I said they're going to be chunky, and of course they are. So probably leave them off. Um, but you can see we've got some very fine pipe work and stuff there. More prop shafts and a dashboard there. So it's all very nice, but like I say, a bit chunky. You might want to make up some footwet or something like that. And then here's the fuel tank sprue. So we've got the actual fuel tank itself. We've got in halves. So first thing to do when you build this model, glue them together and then you'll have the seam to deal with when it's dry. Rear mud guards there, we've got ejector pin marks here which are going to be underneath the tank, so they're not going to be a problem. But all in all, basically a little kit that's uh, that's going to lend itself to a bit of careful modelling, a bit of detail, and it's going to look bloody lovely. So we've got the cab there, very crisp, very nicely sharply moulded lines on it. Bit of flash around the guttering there, but a um, bit of flash on the window there. I notice as well a little bit of flash in the radiator grill, but all in all, you can see it's very, very crisp. So, you know, when it's painted green, perhaps give it a wash and a dry brush, it's going to make all that detail pop. But, um, and then we've got the interior there with the seats and everything, so that's all going to go in just like that. So, very nice, complete little cab. And as I've said a million times before, they, you know, having these trucks, next year aircraft and a little display, you don't have to do a diorama, but just have it plonked on a shelf, part next to it. It just gives the aircraft a sense of scale. So that is the ICM 172nd scale fuel bowser. Let's have a look at this little 144th scale. Now this is something worth waiting for, guys. I bought this purely because one, it's Ukrainian and because I've never, I've heard of Armoury. Um, but I've never seen one of these kits and I thought I'll just give it a go. It was, it was a case of about £5 postage or, or or this was, I can't remember how much now. And it took the order over £60 which meant I got free postage. So first of all looking around the box, sorry. But on the front of the box we've got the um, image of the model itself. Okay. Which is uh, like a, a computer drawn image. I'm not sure if it's CAD but it's computer drawn. And then on the side of the box here. We've got some um, health and safety stuff here, 14 plus, made in Ukraine. And then at the end of the box there, we've got another image of the model. On the side here, more images of the model. And then another one on the side there. And on the back, we've got more images of the colour schemes. And you can see we've got the option to have um, Ukraine, Soviet or Russian schemes. And we've got all the colours down there. So, as I say, let me know in the comments. It says Soviet air tanker. I don't know if they mean it's a tanker for airfields or if it's actually a compressed air tanker. So, end opening box, obviously. Colour call outs and instructions. 
and then we've got all the kit parts in there. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Uh, and you can see it's not very big. <laughs> Obviously being 1 144 scale. So we've got quite a call outs there we'll have a look at in a minute. So the instructions here, again, simple <clears throat> folded black and white A4 sheet. Okay. Um, call outs on here and we can see that we've got shaded out grey parts, which means we're not going to be using those parts. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is a PE sheet. And you can see that on this kit, the headlamp guards down there are in PE. We've also got resin here. So we've got plastic, PE and resin all in a 144 scale truck. Quite incredible. Right, so starting off with building up the spare wheel carrier, building up the rear axle, front axle, adding it all into the chassis. For 144 scale, this is quite unbelievable. You've got these separate hooks on the front. Then we're building up the cab, adding the headlights, grill, um, instrument panel there, and then the doors going on, bonnet going on, or the hood, and then the windscreen going in there, adding the back of the cab, the roof, and then adding the cab to the chassis, adding the truck's own fuel tanks, and then adding those resin parts on the back, which are the air tank, or fuel tank, whatever it may be. I'm not sure. And then here we've got the um, photo etch parts, I believe, or just detail parts. Um, let's just have a look here a minute. Yeah, so it looks like the parts in the black squares are actually photo etched. So we can see here that, yeah, we've got photo etch there. I think that's saying step one because, yes, you have to be a little bit careful. You've got these black squares here. Okay, so that's your photo etch part. And then you've got these black squares here with the bottom right hand corner nipped off. And that's your stage. So that's what it's saying. Two, three, one there. So these little parts here are photo etch. Okay, these parts here are plastic. But then it's showing us this is step four. That's step seven. Resin. And then going over the page, we have a load of photo etch details to add on. So we've got our headlight grills, mud flaps. Uh, mirrors, uh, more mud flaps here, tail lights. So all in all, <laughs> it's going to be a very, very well detailed little model at 144th scale. So very nice indeed. Call outs, um, very nice indeed. Printed both sides in colour and glossy, unfortunately. So I'll have to move it around. We've got the first option here is uh, Ukrainian. So you've just got the plain green with the black writing on the side, yellow bumper. Um, Ivano Franv Frankivsk Airfield. So I'm not sure which one that is. And then we've got another one here. Again, the uh, same airfield, but with the different writing on the side. Then we've got the unknown airfield. Same writing on the side, but spaced out differently. Again, we've got this yellow bumper. And then we've got the Russian Federation, unknown civil airport. Sverdlov region converted into nitrogen tanker. So obviously it is an air tanker then. And that's the yellow with the warning signs and everything on you can see there. And then we've got another one here, Russian Federation Unknown Airfield, Moscow. Russian Federation Unknown Airfield, Saka. Russian Federation Unknown Airfield, Nizhnyovgorod region. <laughs> and then another one from there as well. So... Lots and lots of options. Uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, eight options in a 144 scale truck here. I mean, it's, it's going to be a tiny little thing. So here we've got, again, all the parts in one bag. And you'll see in there we have quite a large clear sprue. Okay, and what we've got here, which I think is wonderful, which is one of the reasons it made me buy it. We have a lot of parts here for the cab molded in clear. So as you can see, rather than having to fit tiny little windows and get a nice seam and everything, the, the part is clear. So you mask off the window and paint the rest. Really nice touch. Or you could paint it with acrylics and then scratch the paint off of the windows with a toothpick. But um, a lot of this actually isn't used. But uh, it's, I think it's, it's a great idea to do that because you can see here the windscreen there. The windscreen but by my fingers there you could see trying to get those client tiny panels in and have the frame all nice and everything would have been a nightmare so uh yeah very nice touch that and then second sprue here you can see we've got a chassis rail here's the bottom of the spare wheel carrier carrier 
uh, do, 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 do fuel tanks by the look of it. I'm not sure what they are. But we've got our wheels. The wheels have got sort of a semblance of tread on them. They're quite softly moulded, but you know it's 144 scale. What do you expect? But they're um, you know we've got the detail on them. There's they're obviously got the uh, tire inflators and some tread on them. And then we've got the axle there, front axle with leaf springs there. And then we've got the rear axle with leaf springs there. So, as you can see, it's all there. And then in here, we have another bag with some stuff. So we, oh my God, I can't believe what I've just seen. Yes, we have resin parts. So that's the actual, you can see how small this thing is. That's the back of the air tanker there. Okay, and then that's the base there. So that's actually going to sit on top of there. So you can see how small it is. You look at it like that. Photo etch sheet with quite a bits of photo, quite a few bits of photo etch on, and very very finely done. Really nicely done. Catch it in the light there. You can see how fine everything is. So very nice indeed. And then finally we've got a decal sheet with lots and lots of different decals on. Uh, very, very sort of fine finish on there. I can't see the edges of the... Yes, there is. So it's very, very fine, very nicely done. A um, bit of carrier film around each decal, but the carrier film looks to be quite thin. So there we go. You can see on there all the different logos to go down the side of the tank. And then we've got our front bumper decal there with number plates. So yeah, really, really nice. And then here, I can't believe we actually have window masks, which I doubt you're going to be able to pick up. No, I can't make them show, but they are pre-cut, die-cut window masks. What? Unbelievable. So, what a complete little kit. So you've got photo etch, You've got window masks, you've got decals, eight options, and resin in a 144 scale truck. Mad. And that is the Armoury AR14804. They do another one as well, which is another type of truck. So go and have a look. Um, obviously, you know, you have to hope and pray that these companies still exist in a few weeks' time. Um, and uh, if, if they... If they don't, then us buying all these kits up will only give them massive order books and get them back in business a bit quicker. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. That has been those two kits there, if you're interested in getting either of them. Um, and there we go, let's zoom you out so you can see them. There we go. And we can see here the difference in the size. The 72nd scale there. The cab roof next to the cab roof of the 44 144 scale and the cab roof is there where i'm pointing now that's the cab roof and you can see how much smaller that is and this is small enough so there we go guys thanks for watching i'll see you all soon bye for now